let's uh, continue. So last uh, video we have done the this uh, R incre uh, the decrement. So uh, I also need to uh, change this because uh, the actual uh, parameter name is a decrement, not the increment. So I haven't uh, uh, saved to a new one, so it's good we can make this uh, change. But if we change all, uh, then that's the uh, same. So here is uh, our decrement. Uh, and then when we load that is uh, our decrement. So even it's uh, just our naming, but uh, we are trying to decrease, not uh, increase. So here, decrement. Then it's a generator same. So if I put that to two, it's uh, still working. So let's just to make a two. So I save and then make that uh, to the number six. So the number five, we solve the first problem is uh, for the every uh, the branch in the next level is should be decreased on their age uh, increments. So uh, we use our uh, the new parameter our decrement to calculate our new increment to replace this uh, age increment within the uh, this uh, branch uh, the, the this. Uh, recursive uh, tree uh, tree branch uh, drawing so that's the first uh, the problem second problem is also mentioned uh, uh, here is uh, uh, this uh, one is uh, on every uh, this uh, recursive uh, branch is uh, starting from the same size as the branch from which they emerge so this also not uh, realistic so uh, we, we need to uh, the size of uh, of the forked uh, branch should be smaller and also depending on its angle. Uh, if an angle is large, the diameter should be rather small. Uh, in addition, the main branch should also lose some of its uh, diameter and depending on the angle of the forked branch should give way to its uh, somewhere. So that is uh, based on some natural uh, the, this, uh, the, the analysis. So let's convert those source into a geometry a geometry description. So we starting to check uh, our parameter. So H increments are decrement. Uh, this MD initial mean depth of seed scaling as varies. The uh, BD initial branch depth, a branch angle, and then we will have this a minimum and max uh, size. So branch mean size branch in the max size and in the bottom we should add this uh, default number so branch mean size equal to 0 0.3 branch max size equal to 0 0.8 we have this uh, parameter, and then we will add this into our R tree. So we have two R tree. So first we ensure we call the new parameter. Oh, and also we should add that to the second tree here. So uh, we just ensure we have the parameter load, uh, and then we should start to uh, have this uh, to be used. Let's uh, I analyze our code. So I put that uh, here. And first is uh, should we starting should we branch? So from here. So if branch depths uh, this uh, checking condition are same in depths and then the, we have those uh, number and before we go to this uh, translate we should add something so first is the branch ratio we need to calculate how smaller it will be shrimp so it's a branch angle so based on the angle 
based on the this angle, branch angle divided by BR angle minus 5.0, so plus is 1, and the branch scaling equal to branch mean size times the branch ratio plus branch max size times 1.0 minus the branch ratio Yeah, we got some arrows uh, till now. Okay, uh, no problem. So that's uh, just the hypothesis. So line 38, branch scaling undefined. Branch, mean size, branch ratio. We have this uh, branch ratio and the branch max size. Branch ratio, so which? Saying not defined. Let me just uh, have a look. Ignore. Ignore for BR angle. So now we, we got uh, arrow, so here. BR, so we have this uh, BR angle we use here, so A-N-G-L-E. So let me save, now it's uh, back. So try to save uh, uh, multiple time or often, then you can, like me, is uh, to find uh, some arrows uh, immediately, uh, not uh, leave that after you type in a lot of uh, the line of the code. Uh, that does pay, give you difficulties. And SF times uh, branch ratio plus branch max size times 1.0 minus branch ratio. Yeah, that's same. Now we, we will start to use this uh, new calculated thing. The translate is just a, a move uh, to the Z part, is still H increments. Uh, rotate is no change, and here is no change. And what we have to do is a new increment, R decrement, MD here, zero, S variance. So BD, depth. So what we are doing is uh, we are changing this uh, scaling. So uh, original this uh, scaling is uh, calculated uh, as uh, the, the fixed one. Now is we use the branch scaling to replace this SF. Others, there's no change if that's this one, then we will do and we are adding the else mean branch or mean pass rotate it in counter direction. Yeah, uh, the first we solved the second problem already, so uh, when we have the for the depth of the branch is uh, getting smaller, so that looks uh, more realistic. Uh, and uh, let me save uh, this uh, zero six. Then we go to the zero seven to change the second part. Uh, this part, mean pass rotate uh, in counter direction. So if uh, mean depth uh, more than ten, uh, more than zero. So we have this uh, H increment, uh, and we, we will uh, go to here. So this is the else. And we have uh, this and the else. And else, if this uh, then, then we have this kept. 
otherwise uh, we will use this uh, mean scaling so though those are same so let's uh, copy this uh, here so we have uh, this as the if uh, and then else we will put our original one inside where is this one you can click these uh, curly braces to find uh, his uh, another pair so then we will have this one so this one is uh, linking to this i suppose now arrow syntax on the line 86 uh, 89 so with this i will have this one but i also need this one increment this where is this one this one is here else is this one do we need one more one two three four we have this uh, four here it's mentioned scaling Let me try to copy to our tree. To see whether I have some. Still number eighty eighty nine. Else, syntax. So, what's the arrow for this? Parsing syntax arrow. It's getting 91 so it's coming from this uh, else so if this is the first if so this one this one is coming to here so if this and I should, I think this I need to remove this. Because this one is this one scale, branch, mean. It's the mean scaling, mean scaling. That's correct. I think I have uh, here. But here, I think I have uh, one additional. The 
addresses the issue is uh, the most uh, difficult uh, to find. Let me pause and try to find out. Finally, I got the arrow is uh, because on here, there is a first if. These curly braces should not be stopped here. So it should not be uh, is I see. So this one, let me see, is uh, this one. This one is this one, and uh, else. This else, you see, this else is actually to this if. So when I wrongly is putting another close curly braces here, then in the second, uh, the mean depths, they don't recognize that there is a new increment because new increment is calculated within here. Uh, so that's the troublesome. So now we have this one, so looks like our robot. So, but the, this one now is, uh, if you make that closer, it's like this way. But it's uh, good enough, is uh, we have uh, our, uh, the branch is uh, connected. So what, uh, but they are, uh, the if you look closer, you can see that the junction at the branch point still looks very rough. So they like this. Uh, we can solve this with the help of hole. So we uh, have this uh, hole used uh, quite many times. Let's uh, go to the number eight and to add this uh, hole function. Uh, so if we branch, so we're starting from here. So branch depth is fine, and then we go to the translate. This translate h increment rotate r angle, and the br angle, and we create this r tree, uh, and then the, we have the perimeter, and we have the scale, branch scaling, branch scaling. So that is the first one, uh, and then we have our Hole. So hole will do. Let me see here, the children. So we after this one be, before the mean pass. So let's add this one. Smooth out connection to branching pass. So we use a how function and ensure we have this we will have translate zero zero h increment linear extrude weight. 0 0.01 scale. Here we use the SF, SF. Then we call children, make this mean branch. So no arrow. So second, translate, that's the same. Then rotate zero zero eight R angle, and we have a second rotate the R angle zero zero and linear extruding that is uh, for height equal to no increment and the scale equal to here is another power function scaling 
powered by one third. So that's the linear extrude. Then we also have a scale, branch scaling. Last is uh, give this uh, children zero. You can see here we make them join. Uh, it not looks like uh, smooth because we have this uh, eight. So if we put that uh, hundred, let's see. You can see now it looks uh, quite uh, smooth and like a nice tree. Uh, but just to uh, consider the performance, uh, we use this 8 to make that uh, on this hole. Uh, we have uh, this one change. Let's uh, double check its others. So uh, we have this one and A mean depths. Like this, uh, this one no change, this no change, this no change. And then R3, so we should have uh, this one also uh, doing. So scale, mean branch, uh, mean scaling, and then under here. So right under here, we should have uh, our smooth out connection to mean pass. So here is to the branch pass. Let's just uh, copy those. I think we copy from here. Uh, this is coming to here. We need this uh, closed. Just make it clear. But what uh, we need to do the some differences. Uh, this one is same, same. SF, SF, here is uh, SF, uh, same, minors, so second rotate is this one, so if you compare to here, so this uh, second rotate is the branch angle, now it's the branch angle minors, uh, this one, so is this, we need to change, and then height, is a new increment uh, by half, scale is same, and here ensure is uh, we are doing the mean scaling, mean scaling. Then for the else, oh, so here rotate, zero, zero, I have uh, one more, this one. Perfect. So now this uh, mean part is also rotate. If I don't have that, uh, let me uh, comment this. And we just uh, have our close look. So let me save. You can see here, this uh, mean branch, we, we don't have uh, that hole. Now that's uncommon. Look at here and here. So let me save. So we get this uh, mean branch. Uh, also, mean branch is this uh, bottom one. So also get this uh, hole. And let's uh, double check uh, the else part. Translate and this one increment. That's good. Uh, there's uh, no need to change on this uh, else uh, uh, area. Okay, uh, now we finished on this uh, 0, 08. Uh, let me try to see whether we can export that. It's finished uh, rendering. Let me export this to 0, 08. I push this uh, to GitHub. 
if you don't use uh, GitHub, I actually, as I discussed before, uh, within uh, the, the Visual Studio Code, you, you can also have uh, our um, preview of your STL model. So that is quite uh, convenient. Uh, but within the GitHub, if you don't use uh, Visual Studio, uh, the code, you can come to here. And let's see our current tree model. So it's like this. You can zoom in. And that's already is uh, OK for you to uh, put that into the 3D printing. Uh, but it's only in the branch now. Uh, so we stop here, and in the next uh, video, we will add in the leaf. Thank you.